How are you doing there? Frank Falvey here. I'm just going to show you how to create a storage account and create a blob storage file and create a container, upload a file to the container and share it. Okay, so create a resource. Scroll down to storage accounts and this is my pay as you go subscription so you can create a new resource group if you want or you can use an existing one um, I have an existing one here already so I'll just use that for this demonstration the account is the name is globally unique, so you'd have come up to something that somebody doesn't have already. So I'm going to go and I'm just going to put in a number there at the end of that. So we're good to go. And um, my location is Northern Europe, so we're going to leave that okay. Um, and this one here, we're going to use locally redundant storage. So, so the hot and the cool down here, the hot one is kind of active stuff. You use the cool one if you're using kind of like archive stuff. So click down the bottom to networking. And Microsoft has default all these things, which are pretty OK. So we'll just go over with them for the demonstration. Data protection is also defaulted. So we'll just leave these as Microsoft defaults. Just click on advance. And as you can see, secure transfer is all enabled. Public access is enabled so we can share our things. So these are all defaults are pretty good. So the next one we review and create. And so if we clicked everything, it's just going to validate. So let's validate and pass. So now we're going to create the storage account. And this is pretty quick, couple of seconds, depending on your broadband and how busy Azure is at the time. So to just show up here any second there now there we are it is almost there so it is accepted and we should just get our go to resources there now any second and we're good to go so there it pops up go to resources and inside here then we need to go into where our go into the storage explorer just to see all our kind of storage that we have so there you go, you've got your blobs, storage containers, file share, four different types of storage. There. So what we want to do now is create a container, because blobs use containers. So right click, create a blob container, give it a unique name again over here. So, yep, we're good to go. So hit on create. And there it is. So we just click on the container here and drop down. There's our container. And then it gives us all this stuff. To, so we want to upload our picture. So we'll go over here and we'll look for a picture on our computer. So to upload. So I just have this one here for demonstration purposes so we'll just open that one and click on upload and it's uploaded so you can see inside here now we've got we've got our picture so if you right click on that get shared access signature and it pops up here on the right hand side. So if you want to say share it for a day or two, you can just pick 
for advertisement. There are all the different permissions, so we'll just leave them as default and hit on create. So it gives us our URL for sharing. So we'll just copy that. What we'll do there is we'll just open up a different tab on top and we'll paste it in, paste and go. And there we go. There's a picture shared out on the net. So that's how you create a storage account, blob container, upload a picture, and you're done. Thank you for watching.